Oh my goodness gracious! How's it going everybody? My name is Al and welcome to the Nerd Room. Today we're playing some Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Let's get into it. Okay, so in order to activate the cannon, we need to find Gold Bob and I think it was General White was the other guy that the Bob-omb there mentioned. I know where to find Gold Bob if he's still in like, uh, if he's still at Poshley Heights, but as for General White, I haven't the foggiest idea where to start looking. Well, we might as well start with what we know, so I guess let's just pop back on the Excess Express and head for Poshley Heights. Oh, you know what, actually? Maybe while I'm in the area, I'll quickly head to, um, I'll quickly head to, uh, Glitzville, because there's a shine sprite up there that I, uh, that I can get now, I think. Won't be but a moment. Aha, there it is. All right, now that I have the super jump, I can grab that there shine sprite because now I actually have more of a use for him. Because yeah, at the moment all I have uh, all I have left is to uh, is to level up uh, Gumbella, and then my entire party will be maxed out. I'm really trying to think of where else uh, where else are some shine sprites that I missed because I th I think I've been fairly thorough. I mean I'm only missing. Uh, uh, if they give me just enough shine sprites to, like, level up all my party members, I'm only missing two. Hello, sir. I need your assistance. Good day to you, Gonzalez. What can I do for you today? What's that you say? You must use the cannon in Far Outpost to save the world? Hmm. Well, that is rather a pickle, isn't it? Very well, then. I certainly owe you a favor or two, hmm? Yes, I should say. The truth is, I had hoped to resume my business with that cannon someday. And just between us, I only stopped because the wife said she didn't like the noise. Sadly, it takes a hefty bit of coin to get that cannon working, so... I'll need you to demonstrate just how much you want to use that cannon. If it were a matter of money, just how much would you pay if I may ask? I'm guessing the correct answer is everything I have. What? You'd pay every coin you own? All of them? You... uh... really? So... really? Well, I suppose I'm just surprised to hear you say that. Staggered, actually. You know that means you'll be left with zero coins. With absolutely nothing. You know that, do you? Yes. I mean, think of it, man. If you spent all of your coins, and I mean all of them, you would certainly face a great deal of difficulty down the road. Yes. But hold on, I want to make sure you're doing this fully aware of the consequences. Are you sure you won't regret this later? Absolutely sure. Yes, I can really take them all. Really. You won't say, just kidding, later on or any sort of tomfoolery like that? Well, all right then. Hmm. Well, you've certainly showed me something, sir. So, I give my permission for you to activate the Far Outpost Cannon. Alright, you got a Gold Bob Guide. Gold Bob's User Manual for the Far Outpost Cannon. Oh, and I wasn't serious earlier, my dear fellow. How could I take your money? Ha 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 It's a shame, I suppose. But I'll return your money. Oh, okay. Holy crap! <laughs> Did I really have that much? Maybe I just misremembered how many coins I had since last time. Now, soldier on, my boy. Thank you very much, Mr. Gold Bob. All right. Well, now that we have permission from Gold Bob to use the uh, to use the cannon, now we just need to track down where the heck to find this uh, to find this general. Since I have a lot more money than I thought, I guess our best uh, I guess our best bet is to ask the fortune teller. All right. Let's see. Oh yeah. Frick. Okay, so yeah, we can ask for where the other two shine sprites are, and then ask for my next path. Well, let's do it. I see a shine sprite in the pirate's grotto, where you see many barrels on the left-hand side. You climb onto something, rise to a high place, and find it atop a barrel. Ah uh ha! -huh. Shall I see anything else for you? Uh, no. I think we'll head to Pirate's Grotto real quick. Cause yeah, I need to- I need a little something to fill out this episode. I mean, I don't know how long it'll take to like, maybe convince the general to let me use the can or something, but... You know, I might as well- cause it feels like we're heading into like, the end game here. Like, we're heading to the- we're heading to like, the X-Nauts base of operations on the moon. 
So I feel like I should try and get my party all leveled up before I head there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Frick. Okay, so the cannons have respawned. Dag nabbit. I feel like this is- what? Frick. This is gonna take a little longer than ow I originally anticipated. Well, on the plus side, this is helping me level up a little bit. Cause yeah, I think I just need one more level up, and then I can use that, uh, then I can use that really good, uh, badge that I bought. You know, the one that lets me swap my partners out without losing a turn. Okay, so somewhere in this grotto is just a place with a whole bunch of barrels in it. Is this it? Aha! Okay, this looks promising. Okay. Aha! Yep, there it is, there it is, we got it! Ooh, that one was actually, that one was actually really well hidden. I don't think I would have thought of that. There we go, now let's get the heck out of here and find out where that second Shine Sprite is. I see... a Shine Sprite. Underneath Rogueport, you leave this building, roll up, and go to the left. You perform a spring jump next to the pipe beyond the up and down platform. You follow the pipe, drop onto the roof, drop to the next roof, and continue on. Okay, so it's right here in Rogueport. Nice, I don't even have to go that far. Okay, so I head this way. And then next to the up and down platform, there's a pipe that I can spring jump to. Ooh, this is probably it here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we head this way. Drop down here. Drop to the next roof. Aha! We got her! There we go! Boom, baby! The final Shine Sprite. All right, now before we get Gumbella all leveled up, let's figure out where we need to go next so that we can just head straight there. I see your destined path. I see the town of wealth. You show a gold person near the train your good faith. Then you hunt your quarry in the relaxed town. Then the formerly deserted isle. Then in a shop in the city in the sky. Then, in the tree of the little ones. Then, in the Twillet village. I see you going a lot of places, frankly. You gather information about your quarry and go back to the mayor of the cold place. There you find your quarry, and when the time comes, you stomp him over and over. Then the way opens. Okay, I really should have been writing that down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I just need to keep gathering information until I can find, uh, until I can find the general. Now then, let's get Gumbella leveled up and then, uh, and then start investigating. Whew, Nelly, I might have to actually at some point, uh, <laughs> get the, uh, fortune teller to tell me that again and then actually write that down. <laughs> Alright, Gumbella, let's see what you got. Rally wink. Wink at Mario to give him the courage of for an extra attack. Ooh, okay. That's not bad. So yeah, Gumbella is pretty much just like full-on support character, which I'm okay with. Okay, so they said I would just have to hunt my quarry. Uh, do you have any information by chance? Welcome, you marvelous man. The train journey certainly was thrilling, hmm? Okay, well, that's a no on the information. Uh, maybe I should talk to Gold Bob again, actually. Have you been giving it your all, my boy? Okay, nope, Gold Bob's not gonna help me either. Oh! Jeez! Frick! What the shit? Why? Okay, uh, Gold Bob, I wouldn't recommend swimming in the pool just yet. Maybe throw some chlorine in that bad boy. Perhaps Mr. Expert Detective can help me out a little bit. So, how are you doing, Luigi? Do you remember to say hello to your brother for me, hmm? Okay, never mind. Heck, nabbit, I think I need to talk to that fortune teller again. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, that might have been the problem there, because I already did the town of wealth part after I talked to Gold Bob. Okay, so what's after that? Then you hunt down your quarry in the relaxed town. Oh, they're probably talking about, uh, Pedalberg. Okay, okay. Then the formerly deserted isle is obviously talking about Keel Hall Key. Then in a shop in the city in the sky, and the then the tree of the little ones, so that's Glitzville and the puny tree. 
Then in the Twilight Village. So, yeah, that that one's kind of obvious, Twilight Town. I am kind of curious how it's getting along after a nuke went off in the center of town. <laughs> okay, let's get to it. Oh, if it isn't Murphy. Eh? What's that you say? General White? Hmm. General. Hmm. Well, I'm certain I've seen him around, but not lately. No. I think he may have possibly said he might head south to a more tropical locale. Creaky Key? Was that it? Yep, that's it. That might possibly, perhaps, could be it. Okay, so that's telling us to head to Keel Hall Key then. So, when I get to Keel Hall Key, who do I talk to there? My best guess would be like the big purple ba -bomb. Yep, there you are. Are you the uh, leader here? Yep, perfect, there we go. General White? Yeah, he was here until a second ago. But he took off right quick. Said he was going to an arena or something. Alright, and that's our cue to head to Glitzville. General White? Oh, you must mean that white ba -bomb, huh? Yeah, he used to come here all the time, but I haven't seen him lately. Now that I think about it, I think he headed off to some huge tree, or not. Okay, so now we just head to the puny tree, and then I believe we head back to Far Outpost, and General White should be there. And then according to the fortune, we have to jump on them a bunch of times. <laughs> eh? General White? Yeah, he's an old bob with this great mustache. But I have no idea where he went. He may have said he was going somewhere dark. Okay, and that's when we go to Twilight Town. Hey, it's the savior of our town. It's Mario. Ever since that pig business, we're on constant guard. But don't think for a second that we forgot about you. Okay, I have a feeling that, yeah, okay. Elder's just gonna say the same thing, so I have to talk to a different a uh, resident of Twilight Town. That being said, despite a bomb going off, this place doesn't look that much worse for wear. Huh? General White? Yeah, I know that old guy. He's a white bomb, right? He was here until recently. What? Where did he go? What am I, his secretary? He looked tired, I know that. And with that, our freaking escapade across the entirety of the Thousand Year Doors world, we can head back to Far Outpost and talk to the general himself. Oh boy, huge swaths of this recording are gonna be able to get cut out because it's just me running around the world trying to find the general. There we go. Got, got ourselves an extra level at least from all this running around. And I already know precisely what I'm putting it towards. There we go. Beautiful. Now we can swap out our partners without losing a, without losing a turn. So yeah, that badge will have a lot of utility, especially in boss fights. What? You cannot find General White? Oh, I'm guessing that's General White back there. Hmm. Now where did he go? This makes trouble for us. We definitely need him. Otherwise we cannot even operate that thing. So what to do? Well, don't worry, I'll go talk to him myself. Uh, General, I need you to wake up. He seems to be asleep. Wake him up? Yes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> there we go. He's still asleep. Try again? Yes. Wake up, General. I need your help. He's still sound asleep. Try again? Yes. Wake the frick up. He's definitely still asleep. Try again? Yes. He's still sawing logs. Try again? Yes. Wake up. He couldn't be more asleep. Try again, yes. <laughs> He's counting sheep. Try again, yes. He woke. Nah, he's still asleep. Try again, yes. <laughs> Sleeping like a stashed baby. Try again, yes. He's not even budging. Try again, yes. He's still snoring away. Try again, yes. I'm kind of interested to see now how many variants, uh, variations of he's sleeping they have. Oh, apparently that many. <laughs> no, no. Now, who are you? I am tired. I do not need your attention. I just want to sleep, as it is all hopeless. Hut. 
that mustache, that hat, and that hammer even. Hut hut, I have been looking everywhere for you. Why? Well, to bring that cannon back online. Oh, so that's why... <laughs> so that's why we had to go to all the different towns to find this guy, because he was also looking for us. <laughs> I had lost my life's work, my very reason to live. I found myself at wit's end, and then the Rogueport fortune teller told me. <laughs> oh, jeez, he even used the same method. Seek the man with the red M hat, the one with the hammer and stash. He will fulfill your dream, or something like that. Hut, you need to use the cannon to help save the entire world? Hip hip hurrah! That fortune teller was right! So, what are we waiting for? I shall get the cannon ready, so go tell the mayor. Now get moving, hut hut! So, cannon is back online? Well, I could just explode with delight. Now, let us shoot you guys to moon. We've done it, old boy. Now, you follow me. You come this way. Now, you stand here. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy, how big is this cannon gonna be? I thought we were gonna be fired from the one in town. I guess that is just a statue. General White, is Big Bomb Cannon ready? Hut, leave it to me. Now, men, you know the drill. Load the Big Bomb Cannon. Ho, hut, hut, boom. Now, positions, everyone. Yes, sir. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, Nelly. How big is this cannon gonna be? Oh my goodness. Bring guidance systems online. Bringing system online. System now online. System check. System check. All clear. Prepare for detonation sequence. Open outer hatch. Oh, gee. Oh, my goodness. Oh, ho, 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 ho. open inner shutter. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Elevate on my mark. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, Nelly! <laughs> it's still going. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Jeez! Sighting! Target is the moon! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, prepare for frickin' takeoff! <laughs> Direction, 75.38. Elevation, 54.66. Range, 389603. Oh boy. Mario, I hope you're wearing a helmet. Wind speed, 1.08. Correct direction, 3.03. .03. Correct elevation, negative 2.39. Target locked. Chamber hatch open. Now, everyone in. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, jeez. So that's the propellant then. Close chamber hatch. It's crowded in here. Boom. Stop pushing. Bazoom. Ow, ow, ow. You're on my foot. Baboom. It's tight in here. Plume. I'm getting nervous. Stop breathing on my neck. <laughs> Conditions all green. Stand by. Okay. It is time. Big bomb cannon. Fire! Oh, jeez! <laughs> there we go! <laughs> Yahoo! Yeah, 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 yeah! That was so awesome! Good luck, Mario. Oh my goodness. That was a real operation there, wasn't it? Yarg! <laughs> Oh boy, we're coming in for a landing! Eh? Did we land? Oh, 
Oh, okay, there we go. We landed. Of course we land ahead first. Ow. Harumph. Well, that was a rather bumpy trip. What what? Who would have guessed I'd get to do such a thing? Well, old boy, we're really on the moon. By Crabbery. So, what say you? Shall we find the last crystal star and save Peach, hmm? Yeah, let's do it. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, feel free to hit that like button down below and to share your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to stay up to date on future videos, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time, you all have yourselves a good day. See ya!